Hello, jammers! Here in Belize at the Belize Zoo, and behind me is an American crocodile. The American crocodile has a few fun adaptations to them. One is that they're able to close their nares, like their nostrils, and also their oral cavity is able to close as well, so that way when they go underwater, they don't swallow too much of the water. Um, another fun thing about them, because they're reptilian, they are based their sex is based off of the temperature at which the eggs are incubated. So if it's very cold, they actually will be females. And if it's warm, they will be males. So it's very important, now that we have some issues with global warming, that we're able to predict if the temperatures are suddenly becoming very, very different, either heating up or cooling down in different areas of the world, based off of how many more males or female crocodiles we're getting. So as we're looking at this guy, we can tell that he's really, really enormous based off of the snout. So you usually measure it from the tip of the snout all the way up until about the eye. And based off of his snout, we can see that he's probably between nine and 10 feet long. This is a giant crocodile. And you know what they say? According to Peter Pan, you never smile at a crocodile. Thank you.